Charles Victor Groves, circa 1888, September 4, 1961, was the third officer of the SS Californian, a ship that was in the near vicinity of the Titanic. Not much is known about Groves' early life but certain is that he was born in Cambridge, he was one of seven brothers and was educated at Perse Grammar School. Later in his life, he was an apprentice for Runciman's and sailed on ships traveling to places such as South America and the Mediterranean. Three years later, he would join P&O but soon later decided that he couldn't stand the passengers. He would soon later join the Frederick Leyland Line Company. Groves would join the Californian on April 5 on their way to Boston with no passengers, Groves also had an interest in signaling and at the time, he was teaching himself and always visited the Californian's wireless room where he would most likely discuss signaling with the Californian's wireless operator Cyril Firmstone Evans. At midnight, Groves was relieved by second officer Herbert Stone. Groves would visit the wireless room and would turn on Cyril Evans' wireless on and listen in on them while Evans was asleep. Groves would then hear a message from the Titanic, but due to his lack of knowing Morse, he would put the headphones away. According to Cyril Evans though, Groves did not pick up the phones according to Evans, Groves would then go to his cabin after listening to the wireless messages. RMS Titanic would sink while Groves slept. Groves would wake up at about 6.45 am to the noise of ropes being thrown to the boat deck, Captain Stanley Lord would enter the bridge and Groves would heartlessly remark Lloyds will get a shock over this, won't they, sir? Later during the British inquiry, Groves would give a testimony that contradicted his senior's testimonies. Surprisingly, the inquiry preferred Groves' version of the events, thus angering his seniors. Groves was married by 1914. Groves would later get his extra master's certificate and during the First World War, his submarine, the E-17, ran ashore and he and his crew would get rescued by Dutch seamen, Groves would spend his time in Holland after the incident. He learned fluent Dutch. He would pass away later on Monday, September 4, 1961. In the 1996 miniseries, Groves is played by Eric Schneider. He is first seen on the bridge when he, Herbert Stone, and Captain Lord spot the ice field and decide to stop for the night. In the James Cameron film, there is a deleted scene where Groves is played by Peter J. White. He is first seen when wireless operator Cyril Evans, who was played by Adam Barker in the film, gets a message from the Titanic to shut up, Groves who was confused asks what they were saying, Evans reads out Titanic's other message which was poker, business. Good. Cyril then shuts off his equipment and Groves is seen outside looking at the ice field. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies like this, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.